So it's brine time here in Summer's Homemade Meals Kitchen, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a simple, easy brine. Start by gathering pantry items. That's right, guys, most of your brine is found in your pantry. We have here two tablespoons Italian herbs, three or four bay leaves, two lemons, okay, those are in the fridge, one cup brown sugar, one and a half cups of salt, and then some McCormick steak seasoning, about two tablespoons. Bring it I to a boil. I a big pot in my closet. I filled it up with water and ice, and now I'm adding my brine. That's all the flavor. Now what do we do? Well, guys, we're gonna give these bad boys a nice little bath. Slide them right in, yes. Roll them around a few times. Oh, that's not the only one. This is going to infuse your turkeys with delicious flavor. Oh yeah, honey, move over, move over. I won't get into She speaks to me in many different languages. I'm just saying. All right, guys, back to reality. Let's do this. Let me give a little wash to my hands. That was my oven, because guess what? It's ready. What we're gonna do flavor now- this bird, let's make it very simple. Yes, it's gonna make it full of flavor, so don't be scared. We've got some paprika for color. We've got some vegeta, mmm. This is just like all, um, this is just like a seasoning salt, or if you have better than bouillon, go for it. Some olive oil, yes, use some melted butter, go for it. No, I do not add garlic, I do not add any onions. Um, I have two bouillon cubes, one of them's already in here, that's the second one. I'm gonna put a carrot right in the cavity for a little bit of flavor, and I'm just adding about a cup of water, and this bird is ready to go in the oven. But guess what, guys? We're gonna cook this breast side up. That's right, guys. Everything you learned, Summer's gonna teach you the opposite. Are we gonna cover this bird? Nope, we're not even gonna cover it. We're just gonna sprinkle this on, We've got well, all that to for the kicker. I'm gonna make it just a little bit different. I'm gonna kick it up like 10 notches, right? Right, not with the paprika. Paprika is only for color. This is what's gonna make that golden brown TV worthy turkey. Trust me guys, you'll see later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick it up a notch and I'm gonna try something completely different today. And I'm gonna make a honeysuckle. Right into the oven, you can see that I centered my rack. Or actually I put it a little, it's centered, trust me. Now I'm gonna bake it for two hours. Back side down, breast side up. Once it gets golden brown, I'm going to flip it. That's right, guys. Why aren't I covering it? Guys. After an hour in the oven at 325 degrees, I noticed my bird was cooking a little too quickly. So I took a piece of aluminum foil and tented it over the breast of my turkey. Therefore, I halted the cooking process or the burning process of the bird. It's fine, guys. No big deal. Yours probably won't cook like this. Next, I am flipping my turkey. What will this do? This will continue to keep my breast juicy. Also, I added a cup of cold water. That's right, guys. Why a cup of cold water? Because I cooled down the juices, therefore slowing down the cooking process of the breast. Note to self, every one pound of turkey calls for 15 minutes of baking in the oven at 325 degrees. Next, never ever stuff your turkey. Why? First and foremost, if you want a juicy turkey, you want the heat from the oven to circulate from the inside and all around. Second, if you stuff your turkey, you are creating a breeding ground for salmonella. So the best option is to cook your turkey just about all the way through. Then you can stuff your turkey and give it about 30 minutes in the oven. Therefore, you are creating a delicious bird and a nice stuffing.